It is Rob Ford as we've never seen him before. Ranting, swearing, threatening to kill someone. The context of this latest video isn't clear, but what it reveals is the behavior of Toronto's mayor is out of control. He's admitted to smoking crack, to being in drunken stupors, to having memory lapses. Now he's raving about murder. Yet he's still refusing to seek help or to step down. It is astonishing to everyone, even many of Ford's strongest supporters. Jennifer Tryon is outside the mayor's office tonight. Jen? This is the man that just two days ago said he had nothing more to hide, and now here we are again. I'm talking to search my this is the chief magistrate of Canada's largest city. No holds barred, mother. He dies or I die, mother. In an inebriated state, to an unidentified person, Rob Ford threatens to kill someone. He wants 15 minutes, and he's warned he's dealing with pros. I, I just need to go myself. I, I want to go with this guy. I need 15 minutes. That's all. No interference, brother. If I win, I will. Perhaps he's learned the alleged crack video was being shopped around, or maybe there's a tie to the murder of the man Ford posed with in the now infamous front page photo. Or maybe it's nothing at all. We don't know. That's where the video ends. No context, no other identities. And no explanation from Ford, who this time was quick to face the cameras. I just wanted to come out and tell you that um, I, I saw a video. Um, it's extremely embarrassing. Um, the whole world's going to see it. I, I, you know what? I don't have a problem with that, but it is extremely embarrassing. Um, and I, I don't know what to say. But he did play the victim. When you're in that state, um, I hope, I hope, I hope none of you have ever or will ever be in that state. Can you just give us some context, man? Uh, uh, obviously, I was extremely, extremely. Inebriated. Two are rated for her daughter to watch. Back up. <laughs> this disturbing look at Ford in private isn't the everyman image that got him elected. Before um, he was coming across as like uh, uh, you know one of the people kind of thing. He's gone way too far. Disturbing, but not illegal, unless the meaning behind the video also surfaces. If it, they can prove through, again, direct evidence or circumstantial evidence that this was a threat to a particular person, he could be and would likely be charged with uttering a death threat. Whether this is a clue to another crime, police won't say, but it is more proof of substance abuse. Calls for the mayor's resignation are coming from far and wide. This crosses the line. Rob Ford has to do the right thing for Toronto and for himself. Rob Ford has to resign and he has to go get help. No matter how many people go to him and how many people talk to him, it is not working. Yeah, I am close with the family. I am. Ford, seemingly oblivious to the damage the controversy is causing, just apologizes and goes back to work. That's all I have to say. Were you on drugs? Ford's family went public tonight for the first time. His mother and sister saying they have a list of things they want for Rob Ford to do. They want him to get a driver, install an alcohol tester in his car. They want him to check the company he's been keeping, do something about his weight, and to get counseling. This new look at Ford just too disturbing for most, even his family. Perhaps the beginning, the final nail in his political coffin. Although, Donna, we have said that many times before. Maybe the family pressure will make a difference. Jen Tryon, thank you. And for more on what it will take to remove Rob Ford from office, you can go to our website, globalnews.ca.